morning everyone it's uh like 4 45 about to catch the sunrise on the lake of mount fuji Um, we're just about to catch the sunrise on the lake of Mount Fuji. It's beautiful. It was really cloudy last night, but now everything's cleared up and it's a full moon. I hope these videos do it justice. So it's about like a five minute walk from where we're going to see the sunrise. We just got to the lake. Typically, these trees are supposed to be blossoming right now, but because it's still a little cold. There's no cherry blossoms. Just just enjoy the view. Enjoy the time lapse. Hopefully I get it. I do it right. the sunrise over Mount Fuji right on the north side of uh, Lake Kawaguchiko it's probably one of the best viewpoints to see uh, an unobstructed view of Mount Fuji so that's why we came here it's beautiful the reflection on the lake subhanallah you just good time just think meditate think about life appreciate stuff Today we have a pretty relaxing day. It's not it's not hectic here like Tokyo. We'll get and just hang out and see the nature. Okay, the sun is out. Let's go. I'm hungry. I think everything's closed. This is like 6 a.m. and the sun is out. Um, so the day starts really early here. We bought some snacks from 7-Eleven and some of the Japanese convenience stores. So we'll be a fine. You're warm now. I'm literally on the sun's path. Okay. It's like, oh. I know it was freezing, but now you're you're okay. Okay, cool. So nice. No, Jeez. seriously, stand right here. No, yeah. this spot where I'm standing, you feel it. Okay, I feel it. You feel it? I'm dead. Yes, you're I feel it on your legs. Do you feel it at all? Yeah, that's nice. Oh, this is nice. There's the view. Just out here, just brewed a coffee. The sun is fully out. I have a clear view of Mount Fuji. Sada is coming right now. She's, she's funny. I suck at packing, so she's repacking what I packed. Uh, so she'll be here in a second. Thanks, Sada. <laughs> Just enjoying the coffee. She's back. She's back. Nice sunny day, clear skies, nature, birds, coffee, and the view. about 7 a.m. no one's here so get to go in just relax a bit enjoy the view of Mount Fuji on a beautiful sunny day so uh, just sit back and relax just finished the the morning onsen this is our last day here and it's a gorgeous day we got very lucky alhamdulillah uh, with the web. This is definitely a must for Japan. If you come, you need to go to an onsen. You have a view of Mount Fuji. It's peaceful. There's no one here. We leave our bags and then we're gonna explore the town 
enjoy. I don't know what we're gonna have for breakfast, but we'll we'll find something. There's food everywhere. It's just still really early. It's 7 a.m. 7:30. What's up, little man? What's up? What's up? Hey, what's wrong? Oh yeah, like that. What? They call me the cat whisperer, you know? Look at this. Okay, okay, you wanna be pet? Bye bye. Thank you. I love dogs. I love cat. I love animals. So, but in Tokyo, you don't see a lot of uh, people with animals and pets. And I guess that's why they do all those uh, uh, pet cafes. So you can go experience playing with the pets. I hope, I hope you can hear me. It's kind of windy right now. But, anyways, let's go see the view of Mount Fuji. This time, there should be cherry blossoms on the trees. But uh, we got a little unlucky, it's too cold. But I finally found a tree that just started to bloom. So check it out, it's still really small, it's nothing crazy, but it's still nice. It's beautiful, the day is nice, chilly. Uh, buy this mochi place, it's so good. So this is mochi that uh, it's a different kind. Kina? Kinako. It's a different type of mochi, so look how pretty it looks. Just entering Asama Shrine in Kawaguchigo. It's a World Heritage Site uh, from 1200 years ago. And there's these seven big massive trees that were planted a long time ago. And so let's check it out. than a thousand year old trees that were planted here and you can see they're they're lined up with you know some ribbons and stuff and they're huge massive and then the whole place is empty there's no one here and it's just uh, there's beautiful Japanese ponds and gardens you can walk and it's uh, and I think you can have a view of Mount Fuji from the observation deck over there these trees are about 18, 19 meters tall. Look how big it is. Massive. In the, the shrine, it's like there's no one here. It's just small little homes of people who live in this village. You got a great shot of Mount Fuji. Look at this. Okay, so we're on our way to the train station. It's our first time taking the bullet train, the Shinkenison. So one last goodbye to Mount Fuji. Uh, we'll see you in Osaka. Got to uh, Mishima Station. So this is where you can take the Shinkansen, which is the super bullet fast train, so the bullet train. And we're on our way to Osaka. We're gonna see now old, uh, old Japan. Um, have lots of food, you know. It's, and we'll see. So it's our first time taking the Shinkansen, the bullet train. I'm really excited. <laughs> just got to Osaka station the Shinkansen the bullet train was amazing two hours from where we were from Mount Fuji and we're here uh, so we're gonna check in freshen up it's good to be in Osaka feels a bit different from Tokyo less uh, less busy 
people a little bit more friendly. It's, you can tell there's a different vibe here already. Okay, we made it. Come check out our room. We're gonna be staying here for four nights. We have a great room, mashallah. Centrally located, we're right downtown. Check out the view of Osaka. The subway station is right across from us, so uh, we're gonna have some fun here and we'll see you guys later. Yeah.